Hi my friends, welcome to another exciting one. Today we are doing something very very simple. We're going to model a coffee cup from scratch. It's going to be fun, easy and simple to follow along. So open up your blender and let's go. So as usual, we're going to start from scratch. So let's go to general to get our fresh blender file. So let's select these two objects then hit on X to delete them from our scene. So we are going to create our cup using a cylinder. So let's hit shift control shift plus A to create a mesh and then let's add in a cylinder as our mesh. So we can tap here and then let's increase the depth a bit to make our cup a bit longer like this. Then let's hit on tab to enter into edit mode. Make sure we have our face select mode active and then let's select this face, the top part and then let's hit on X for delete to delete the face from our scene and then let's select this face and then let's hit on S to scale so we can scale it in a bit like this so that we have the cup size. You can do G and then bring it up if the cup is too long. Now let's add in some details to the bottom part so I'll do I for insert then insert my cup inside like this and let's add in a couple of extrusion so i'll do e to extrude it up like this and let's do s to scale it down and then we can do i to insert it once again then let's do i to insert it again and then maybe g to bring this down a bit and then we can insert it one last time with i like this so i have some nice details going on right at the bottom of our cup so next let's focus on the top part but before we move ahead let's add in some thickness to our cup so let's go to our modifiers tab and then let's look for our solidify modifier so i'll go and select my solidify modifier i'll zoom in then i'll hold shift and then i'll click and drag to increase the thickness with my mouse but in a smaller increment because i'm holding shift Right, so if I leave shift, you can see. So I hold shift and then add in a little bit of thickness like this. Next, let's apply our solidify modifier. So let's hit tab to jump out of edit mode. And then let's hit on apply to apply our solidify modifier. So next, let's jump into edit mode and then let's add in some details at the tip of our cup. So let's do control R to add in a loop cut. So let's bring the loop cut right at the top like this. Now let's go to our face select mode let's hold alt and click on this face to select the entire loop all around our cup and then let's do alt plus e for extrude and then let's extrude it along normals so we extrude it along normals like it's too much so i can always come to this offset and decrease it if it's too much for me right so something like this is fine for me so next, let's tab out of edit mode, right click and let's shade it smooth and then let's try and add in our subdivision surface to see how our form is looking. So I'll hit on subdivision to add in our subdivision surface. So as you can see, we have some deformation going on at the bottom parts and then some of the form of our, our cup is missing. So let's tab into edit mode and let's try and fix it. Right, so first let's add in a loop cut right at the middle. So control R and then loop cut right at the middle. So next let's do control B to create two loop cuts from the first loop cut we just created. So let's scroll our mouse wheel up like this. And then we have two loop cuts created. So we'll bring one at the bottom and then one at the top, just like that. Right. So let's add in a couple more at the bottom here. So control R loop cut right at the middle. And then I'll add Control R1 here, then Control B so that I create two loop cuts, one at the top and then one at the bottom. Control R, another loop cut here, like that. Okay. So I'll tab out of edit mode and let's focus on the top parts. So you can leave it as smooth as you want, or you can tighten it up a bit. So Control R. And let's add in a loop cut in the middle then let's add one here right and then let's focus on the inner part so let's add in control r another loop cut control b to 
bevel dial loop card so that I have two loop cards created. We can add in a little bit more details in the middle here. Then let's do the same. And then finally, we can add in some loop cards here. So Control R, and then let's scroll our mouse wheel up to create a couple of loop cards. Right, this is fine. So next, let's create the the lid of our cup. We are going to use a circle. So let's do Shift A, Mesh, and then let's look for our circle. Circle to create this. So let's hit on this X. Sorry, this one to go to our right go to graphic view here. And then let's bring our circle up. So I'll do G Z, then bring my circle up to somewhere here. Then we can scale our circle up. So let's do S to scale it up a bit like this. Right. Next, let's tab into edit mode with our circle selected. Let's make sure we have our active, your our edge select mode active. And then let's do E to extrude it up on the Z axis to somewhere here. Right. So somewhere here. And then we can scale it down just a little bit. Right, if it's it's cutting through like this, we can just select with everything with A and then do S to scale it out like this. Right, maybe bring this down. So I'll select this edge G on the X axis to bring it down to somewhere here. Right, so let's continue. So I'll alt click to select this entire loop at the top, and then E to extrude, and then S to scale our extrusion down to somewhere here. Then we add in another extrusion at the top. So let's do E, Z to extrude it to the top like this. Then we can scale that extrusion down like this. And then E, S to extrude this one one last time. And then E, another extrusion. Let's bring it down. And then finally, let's fill up this hole, right? So we are going to create some details at this part of our lid so let's put that in mind once we fill we try to fill this hole so to fill this hole let's go to our face let's let's look for grid fill to fill this entire hole All right so let's come down here and then let's set the span to two and then let's try and make sure this line here is right is is facing this is right perpendicularly facing this line right so let's change the offset until it's straight like this right so we can easily select one part of our top plate right so now let's create our details at this side right so i'll make sure i have my face select mode active hold shift and then select on these faces All right up to here and then e to extrude them down like this and then let's create let's punch in our hole here let's punch in our hole here so i'll select these two faces by holding shift and then i'll, I'll hit on i for insert to add one insertion like this and then i to create another small insertion and then we can do e to extrude it inside like this and then with these two faces still selected i'll hit on x for delete and then i'll delete the faces like that All right so next let's add in our subdivision surface to see how this shape is looking All right so right click and then let's shade it smooth and then add generate and then let's look for our subdivision surface so this is what we have so far so let's do the same thing we did for this one so with this selected i'll hit on my slash key to isolate it in the scene so that we can focus on this let's tab into edit mode and then let's add in a couple of loop cuts so we can do ctrl r start from here right click ctrl b to bevel that's to create two loop cuts do the same thing for this one one here and then one here as well then we can add in another one at the top here and then ctrl r to add in one right at the middle here like this then maybe we can 
Control R, add a loop cut, and let's bring it down. And control R, and then let's bring one up to somewhere here. And then let's increase the level to two. So that we have this. So basically, the top part of our cap is done. So we can add in an extra detail if we want. We can do double G and slide this down. And then we'll hit, choose three to select our face select mode. Alt click and then control. Or we can do Alt E, extrude along normals. And then let's extrude this out a bit like this. So that we have this kind of detail. To R, let me add a loop cut here. So we have this kind of detail like this. So let me hit one slash to bring back my cup. And then I think we can bring this alt click and G to bring this down a bit like this to my liking. Tab out of edit mode. And then this is what we have. So next, let's UV unwrap this, add in some materials, and then add in our lighting and render. So to UV unwrap this, first let's select our cup. Basically, that's what we are going to focus on. Let me tab into edit mode. Now we have our cup selected like this. And then let's create some seams. We are going to UV unwrap theta. So I'll hit on my tab to go into my edit mode. And then alt click to select this entire round shape. I'll hit on U and then mark seam. So it's going to be marked red. And then we can just select this part here. So we can start from this top. I'll click, select this top here. Then make sure it's the same line. So this same line cutting across like this. Up to this side, I'll hit on control and now click to select that line, that thin line here. Now hit on U and then we mark it as seam as well. Then we finally, let's mark this side as seam too as well. So Alt click to select the entire loop here. Then U and then we can mark it as seam like this right so now if we unwrap this it's going to be flat and nicely unwrapped for us okay right. so now let's go to our uv editing tab and then with our cup selected with our cup selected let's hit on l to select everything and then u and then unwrap to unwrap our cup right so our main focus is going to be on this island here so let me hit on l so this entire island so if i hit on l so we have this one so we're going to we're not going to focus on these ones that much so let's we can even delete them from our scene so i'll hit on l to select this and then hold shift no l to select this and then i can scale it down and bring it somewhere doesn't really matter do the same for this one select this entire one s to scale it down and then g to bring it down somewhere so our main focus is going to be on this one so first of all our uv is not straight so let's try and straighten it right so to do that we are going to use a trick called follow active quads right so let's try and select one quad that looks straight enough and then we are going to let the entire uv follow that quad to straighten it up so let's come to the center so let's use this one right so what we are going to do is we are going to make this as straight as possible and then we select everything then we make the entire island follow that same quad if it makes sense right so let's focus on this one right here and let's make sure it's as straight as possible right so i'll select these two these two points this one and this one i'll hit on s scale on the x axis and then i'll hit zero to straighten it up now I'll do the same for here so s x zero to straighten it up right then i'll select these two i'll do s y zero to straighten it up and then i'll do the same for this one s y zero to straighten it up right so once i'm done i'm going to change to face select mode select this face then hit on a to select everything right then we right click and then we do follow active quads right so as you can see all the entire quads is now straightened based on this quad right at the middle here right so next we can rotate 
let's look at where our rotation is and then we can rotate the entire thing so that it's facing properly right so let's select everything a to select everything and then let's rotate it negative 90 like this so g and let's position it in place and then you can do s to scale it up right so next let's add in our material our texture so i'll hit on open i'll locate where i saved my material so it's two materials here uh, it's just a textured pattern so i'll select one i'll hit open and then i can simply position my uv on it like this nicely like this right so next let's hook it up to this material so let's go to our layout and slash to bring my cup right so everything is set let's uh, set up our workspace so i'll change i'll change this one to shader editor and then i'll drag one more workspace here which is going to be our camera so i'll select to select our camera i'll hit on n and then on view we can do log camera to view so that our camera will be locked to this view and then next let's add in some materials so let's go to our render engine and let's change it from ev to cycles and then let's hit on this one to start our render right so we are going to do a basic light setup we are going to use an hdri so let's go to our object world and then with this selected we can do ctrl t and then our node wrangler will add in an environment texture with mapping and then texture coordinates so let's hit on open download an hdri from online and then just plug it inside your scene like this All right so next let's change this from world to object let's select this object hit on new to create a new material and then with this principle selected hit ctrl t once again to add in an image texture then let's click here and then we can add in our cup label like this right so our cup will be nicely applied to our material so next what we have to do is let's add in some some noise noise texture so that our material will look even nicer right so let me bring my principle here then we are going to plug in some noise texture into the normal so let's do shift a now let's look for noise texture like this so let's bring the node in then let's hold here click and drag and then let's add in a bump right so the bump we are going to change it from strength to height like that then we'll plug the normal into the normal like this so it's too big as you can see so let's decrease the scale let's increase the scale so that it's very we have a very small scale right like that and then let's decrease the strength so it's a bit it's not too harsh for us but then it's still there and then let's decrease the distance again so it's there it's adding in some extra layer of details for us right so next we can decrease the roughness a bit but not too much and then that's basically it for our our cap one let's select the lid and then let's hit on new to create a new material and then basically let's decrease the roughness a bit like this All right so we're done let's set up our scene and then we can finally render our cup All right so let's do ctrl a and let's add in a mesh plane for the background so let's bring it back so i'll do g then i'll bring it back on the y axis and then r x and rotate it 90 degrees then we can scale it up like this we can position our camera properly so at this point you can feel free to play along play around with it and create some nice renders for yourself and the canvas is all in your hand so i'll do something like this and then let's create a duplicate of our cup right so first let's select this and then let's add in some basic material let's make it a bit light a bit darker like this and then we can create a duplicate of our cup if you want you can add in colors just as i said play around play along play around with it 
will find what works best for you right so next let's select the cup and the lid now let's do shift d to create a duplicate make sure you save your file your blender can crash on you at any time right so there's the fun part you can basically play out uh, play with it to find what works best for you so i'll select this cup here and then on the material i create a duplicate so i'll add i'll click here to create a duplicate of this material and then i'll change the uv to the other one so i'll hit on this then select my second uv to bring it in i'll do the same for here i'll create a duplicate pick a color so select my color picker and then i'll pick a color from here right so that i have these two cups looking nice for me so next i just have to position my cups in a creative way inside my scene so i'll select the cup the top part and then i'll do g to bring it up and then double tap r to rotate it inside my scene like this and i'll select the bottom cup double tap r to rotate it like this inside my scene so now we are having a problem it's, it seems like inside part of our cup is looking darker so let's fix that so to fix that it's going to be very simple let's we are going to change the color to white so let's add in a new material so we select this cup and then let's go to our materials tab and then let's hit on plus to create a new material let's tap into edit mode and then you can see this so so l is going to select the unwrapped part right so let's l select this part so let's hit on l to select this part minus the inside and then the bottom part right so then let's go to our select and then let's do invert so that that part will be deselected and then the bottom and then the inside part will be selected and then next let's select this material add a new material make sure the base color is set to white then we have decreased the roughness a bit like this then we can do hit on assign to assign the selected part to the new material we created like this all right so let me tap out of edit mode and now inside our cup is white let's do the same for this one so i'll select this cup here and g to bring it down then double tap r to rotate it and then i'll do the same for this one right and then the same problem happens to this one so let's tap into edit mode with this side selected let's go to select invert to select the inside and then the bottom part and then let's hit on plus to create a new material create a new material and then let's decrease the roughness a bit and then let's hit on assign to assign our new material to it so now if i hit on tab out of edit mode this is what we have right so we can easily position our scene into our camera well so finally as i always do i'll change my camera angle to 90 for some reason i have i want longer focal length and then we can easily our render is done then we can easily render our final scene so to render your final scene the last settings you would like to do is maybe change the color management to high contrast if you want and then change your render max render depending on your capacity of your pc so i'll set mine to 100 but you can change it to depending on how large your, capacity, your pc is and then finally hit on render image to render your final image all right so basically that's it for today thank you very much i hope you learned a lot from it at least we learned how to uv unwrap straighten our uvs and a lot more thank you very much for watching please subscribe like and share and let's grow our channel together more videos are coming on our way so see you on the next one peace out it's my friend <laughs>